Monkey 1000 and today I'm going to make a breakfast oatmeal because it's good for you it's easy and you do it the night before or a couple of days before and you put it together and you throw it in the fridge and you can grab it and eat it and go or you can take it with you so this is what we're going to do today so hold on I'm going to get some bowls and some measuring and we'll be right back okay. okay everyone we're back okay so what I'm going to use I'm going to do it this way I think I'm just going to put them in the jars now I have two jars um, I have the lids for these and I'm also going to make some little ones so you can have them as a dessert instead of a breakfast if you want. So in order to do the jars, we'll, we'll do the jars first. So I'm going to move this stuff over a little bit so you can see. And here we go. So um, to, in order to do the jars, you can add your oats, your half a, half a cup of oats, okay? And we're going to put half a cup. So let me see if i got a half a cup of thing here. Yep, I do, so I don't have to. So we're going to put it in both of these. Because I'm going to make one for my mom, and, and we're going to try to eat these for breakfast in the morning. This is supposed to help diabetes. It's supposed to help your heart. Um, and there, if you're not really fond of, of oats, like just eating them hot, um, this is something different that you can do. Um, I like the oatmeal cookies too, that's why I did the oatmeal cookies. Um, they're easy to do and you can grab and go with those. You can have a couple with coffee, you can, you know, eat them with breakfast and this is the same idea kind of thing. Um, so we're going to do this. So you're going to put half a cup of, make sure these are the old fashioned ones. It just sets better, they say. So you want to use these ones, not anything else. You don't want to use those steel cup ones or anything. So you want to try to do that. Okay, so we're going to do half a cup of milk. And here's my half a cup here. I got almond milk. You can use whatever milk you like. But, you know, um, almond milk is very good for you. You can use coconut milk. You can, you can use skim. You can use whatever you like. Um, I got the vanilla one. Yes, it has a little bit more sugar in it than the other ones. And the only reason I did that is because I like the flavor of, of the, um, that it gives you. So the, the plain's okay, but I really like this one better. So I'm going to do half a cup of milk in both of these. And this is your main ingredients. So we're going to do half a cup in that one. And there we go. I love almond milk. It's so good. And then you're going to do the yogurt. Now you can use whatever you like for yogurt. And I use, um, you can use the Greek yogurt. This is what I found at Winn-Dixie. So this is what I got. It's light. It's light and fit. Uh, you got to be careful with light and fit though. Some of the sugar content in it is high if you're diabetic. So um, you just have to read them what's best for you. So that's what I would do. Um, you know, if you're not diabetic and you want like the sugar, then use the ones with sugar in them. You know, that's that's what I would do. So you're going to use a quarter cup here of the yogurt, which is yummy. I like yogurt. I eat yogurt almost every day. I like Greek yogurt the most, but I didn't didn't see it today. And the ones that were there, they were really expensive, so I just stuck with this one today. So and you're gonna put two in there, one in each, and there you go. Okay, and oh no, do I have my mic on? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I do. <laughs> I've done that before, haven't I? Okay, so we got that going, and I'm just moving them aside so you can see it a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to do see the, the chia seeds. Now the chia seeds are really healthy for you. They're good and it helps balance your diabetes a little bit better. Um, 
it's, it's, you can use these for all kinds of stuff. They have all kinds of recipes that you can stick this in. So I'm gonna, you're going to take one tablespoon of this. That's all you need is one tablespoon. Let me get another spoon here. Yeah. And we're going to stick it in here. And I'm going to stick one in this one too. Okay. And then after that you can use syrup, which I got sugar-free syrup, and or you can use honey. It's up to you. Um, you know, you can re use the regular syrup too if you like. I just got this. I thought it would be better for my mom and I. Mm -mm. Shaber doesn't, uh, he's not going to eat this. So I don't have to worry about that. But if he wanted it, I would make it for him and I would use regular sugar for him and, and do it that way. So you're just going to use one tablespoon of syrup. So I'm going to stick this in here. I'll make sure that lids on. Don't need that stuff all over the place. And my cat is yelling at Bruno over here if you can hear her. <laughs> there. Hanging out together over here. So, alrighty. So, then you're going to stir these up. And just stir them up. And what you do, you can leave them in the fridge for four hours or overnight. And overnight is best because it will, it absorbs it better. It makes it a little nicer. Now I'm going to stir this up a little bit more. I'm going to add me some fruit in there and um, go from there. That's what I'm going to do. So, that you can see. So I'm going to put some raspberries and blueberries in hers because she likes the blueberries. I'm okay with blueberries, but I'm not that fond. And you can put them in now, or you can wait and put them in again. Doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. I hope I didn't miss something here. I don't think so. So, this is just a, a quick little breakfast. It's supposed to tie you over until lunch, and, and it's supposed to help your, um, you know, your things. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blueberries in her. And when I finish, I will put some um, strawberries in mine at, at when I um, take it out in the morning. Because this will thicken up and it will be really good. But I like to put these in here now so they get the flavor, you know. So that's what I like. Alright, so what you're going to do is just put these, we're going to put these in the fridge. And in the morning, I will come back and we will check them out and see how good they are. And we can shake them up and you can do whatever. You can fill these up all the way if you want halfway. It depends how much you want. But if you're really watching your weight, you just want to just do what I said about the oats, half a cup and that. So we're going to stick these in the fridge. And then I'm going to do this, these two. I don't have a, I have three, so I could do a whole four and put it in here so you can see the difference. So let me, let me do this and I will be back. Okay guys, so now we're going to make a, a four serving, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to take the rolled oats that we have, the old fashioned oats, and we are going to put two cups of this in here. I only have a one cupper, so I'll put two cups of this in here. And you can make this batch and you can make it for the whole week, so then you only have to make it once. You make the same way with that one, but you can leave it like in a glass jar with a lid on it. Um, you have a measuring cup, a glass one that has a, um, a lid on it. You can use that. I don't have it. It's best to keep this stuff in glass, they say. Um, it makes it, I think it 
taste better or whatever it, than the plastic. You don't want to put it in plastic. So we're going to take two cups of the milk, the almond milk, or whatever you like. It's up to you. And we're going to pour it in here. This thing doesn't want to stay in my hand. It's slippery. So you got one and two. Okay. Then we're going to take one cup of yogurt. And I'm going to get a thing here. And I'll just put one cup of yogurt in here and dish it out. That'll work good. But you could use any kind of yogurt. I mean, if you, you don't have a sugar problem, you could use anything you wanted. But this is healthy for you. I don't like it hot. I think it, to me, I just don't like it hot. So this is an alternative of trying to get your oats into your diet and, and make it the way you like it. Makes it taste better. Okay, so then we got the chia seeds. You put one fourth of them in there. I need another spoon, I guess. Yep. And we'll just stick it in our little cup here. And here we go. Almost. I used a little spoon. I probably should have used a little bit bigger one of this, okay. And I didn't want to pour it, so I get it all over. Okay. And then Okay. And then we're gonna take the syrup or honey. It depends what you like or what you want. And um, I'm gonna put this in here. Now I'm trying the syrup and seeing because honey has a lot of sugar in it. It's honey. <laughs> so I want to try to keep it down as much as I can. Okay. And, and this is just your main ingredients. It's just five. So it's very simple and easy to do. And this is what it's going to look like in the bowl and you and you just stir it up blend it in real good and there you go now if you're going to make a batch like this you don't really want to put the fruit in until um you know you dish it out and put it in a, a little container or something so i'm going to pour these in here so you can see I just want to blend it in real good. Let me see. Okay. And I'm just going to pour these in here for right now. Now you want, you can put some fruit on the bottom of these. Now these are going to be desserts. Um, you can eat these as a dessert too. And that's what the chocolate I got, it came in with that. So let's put, let's put some raspberries on the bottom here on the one and uh, we can put a little bit of raspberries on both of them I hope you can see this sorry my milk is probably in the way and we'll just take a handful and just dip them in there like that okay and then I'm going to pour this on top and we'll pour these on top And pour this one in here. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to cut up a couple of um, strawberries here. And so I'm, I'm just trying to show you a, a ways, you know, how to do this. And, and you can do whatever you want. Some people use pineapple. They use all kinds of stuff and, and um, you know, fruit. Um, yeah, you can do what you want. So, 
And I just cut these up. I don't have the cutting board out and I don't want to put it on my brand new counter. So I'm just doing it in my hand here. And just lay them on top like so. And I'll we'll do this one here. And you know you could if you couldn't afford the real fruit, you could use the canned fruit and you can get the sugarless canned fruit if you wanted to do it that way or if there's something that wasn't in season that you wanted to, you know, have. And uh, there you go. And then I uh, take some of these. Maybe. Yeah. There you go. Just take a couple and put it in there. Now these are sugar free much as you can get. I think they got a little bit. I'll show you. Like, these are, they got zero sugar in them, but the carbohydrates, that's eight grams. So there is, I think carb, carbs turn into sugar. So um, I try to show you here a little bit so you can see, see it. And I got these. These are a little expensive though, and I bought them for the oatmeal cookies too, but I seem to like them, and um, they come from Winn-Dixie, so you might want to check them out if you're baking, and you can see. So I'm going to stick these in the fridge, and now these, you want them at least four hours, the same with the other ones, so I'm going to wait, and I'll come back in a little bit, and it'll be a second for you guys, but it'll be four hours for me. So, and then we'll try these out. And then in the morning, I will come out and we will try the ones for breakfast. So stay tuned. Okay, everyone, it is morning. I didn't make it to the four hours for these. I fell asleep and didn't want to get back up. So um, we're gonna try to test one of these and then we will show you these. Um, yeah, so anyways, good morning, everyone. Anyways, this is the way it looks like for your dessert. I think it would turn out really cute. Really nice. It depends what you want to put on there. You can put nuts on there too. Um, coconut, if you like coconut. I am not a fan of coconut, so you won't see coconut on mine. <laughs> and here we go. This is what it looks like in the jar. Now this is the one with the blueberries in it. It has some blueberries um, on the bottom. I did add a little bit extra because I still had some in the uh, bowl, so I added a little extra in here. I mean, if you're watching your weight, then you just want to do a jar and fill them up evenly. But if you're if you're not and you just want a quick breakfast, that's the one that's the one that came out, and that's the about right amount that you're supposed to have right there. Now I didn't put any fruit on that when I can put it on this morning while I eat it. So I'll put a little bit of fruit on that one. And this one's for my mother. And so I think they turned out really, really good. I'm going to test this one here and that one I can give to my mom. So she can have that later. But this is more for a dessert kind of thing. Mm. Mm, very good. Mm-hmm. So. Very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. I might eat this one instead of that one. <laughs> Very good. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it tastes the same. You know, it just said, uh, um, it already did have fruit in here. I have some strawberries in this one. I might have put some raspberries in here too. Yeah, so I just picked it out and tried it. So, yeah. Mm. Yep, very good. I didn't mix that up though a little bit because I can taste the um, syrup a little bit. So. I would just mix this up a little bit more. Yeah. 
There you go. And you can add a few more stuff on top if you want. So anyways, it's endless on what you can do with fruit and your oatmeal. And this is a good way of getting your oatmeal if you don't really into oatmeal. All right, I like it this way, I don't mind it. So I could eat this, um, you know, no problem. And uh, I just don't like it hot. And I like the cookies that you saw in the other video. So that will work for me. And it's supposed to be healthy for you and it helps you regulate your diabetes. And you're putting some fruit in there. Just be careful on how much fruit and, and you know, chocolate chips that you put in there. You don't want to overdo it. So, you know, you gain weight from it. But, you know, it, it works pretty good for me. So, thumbs up. I really like it. Um, there's a couple more that I like to try that I saw. They had like a peanut butter one and banana. You can mix them together in with the oatmeal too. There, There's so many of them that you can try. So, but I'm more of a strawberry and a raspberry person. I do like bananas though. I could add bananas if I wanted to. So, anyways, that ends this video for today. And y'all have a great day. It's beautiful here. I don't know what we are up to today, but, um, I'm sure we'll, we'll find something. <laughs> so stay tuned. There'll be more videos coming up and Shaber 1000's got many videos. So go and watch him. And uh, yeah, he's got a challenge coming up. So that will be a interesting challenge, I think. So watch his, watch his challenge. He's gonna make a video, I guess, uh, of what he's making making a barbecue that's what he's going to be making so stay tuned for that anyways i must go y'all have a great day monkey says she's out for now bye y'all